Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm one of the hosts of the podcast. I'm doing a solo episode today, but Socha will be back in a few days. Um, I just want to make an announcement here. We have now enabled our exclusive subscribers button or link in our description. So if you want to become an exclusive subscriber, you will receive two to three extra episodes each week, um, in addition to our three free episodes. Uh, free episodes will be available on our YouTube channel, so you can go to the YouTube channel and watch me do the podcast right now. Um, but if you want to listen to it, you can always listen to it on all the major platforms. Um, remember, uh, the donation button is different than the exclusive subscriber button. So the donation button on some of our older episodes is just a one-time donation. But if you want to become an exclusive subscriber... Um, that is a monthly donation of $1.99. So for $1.99, you can become an exclusive subscriber, and that's $1.99 each month. And then each week, you get two to three extra episodes of the podcast. Um, if you have accidentally donated, made a one-time donation, but you would like to become a an exclusive subscriber, please send me an email at a to z English podcast at gmail.com. That is a to z English podcast at gmail.com. And we'll, we'll figure out a way to um, make you an exclusive subscriber. Um, again, if you donated, if you've just made a one time donation but you wanted to become an exclusive subscriber, send me an email and we'll we'll figure out a way to transfer that over so that you can become an exclusive subscriber to the podcast. And today we're going to go back into back in time a little bit here and we're going to do a Dear Jack episode. So I've got a Dear Jack episode for you here. And this is where I read a problem that someone's having, and then I give some advice. So here's the problem. Dear Jack, I've been dating my boyfriend for about a year now, and overall, things have been going well. However, there's one issue that keeps coming up. His constant texting during our dates. Whenever we go out to dinner or spend time together, he's always glued to his phone, checking messages and responding to texts. It's starting to make me feel ignored and unimportant. I've tried bringing it up gently, but he always brushes it off, saying it's nothing important. How can I address this issue without causing a big argument? Sincerely, feeling ignored um this is a big problem in the modern age right a lot of people are obsessively or compulsively glued like stuck to their phone they're just always looking at their phones checking messages every 30 seconds every 15 seconds um and i think it's just a bad habit. So what your boyfriend has developed is he has developed a really negative habit because there are some situations where you need to put your phone away and you need to be present in the moment. And when you're at dinner and he's on his phone, he might as well be a million miles away because he's not there with you. Um, he might be physically there, but mentally he's 
on the internet, they're chatting with someone else or checking, you know, his emails or things like that. And the way I see this behavior is it's just extremely rude behavior. Um, it would be the same as like, oh, I don't know, like, um, if you, you know, having dinner with someone and he were, he were like, um, uh, belching, you know, burping out loud, um, or talking too loudly and obnoxiously or or cursing saying curse words in the restaurant i mean though that kind of behavior is unacceptable in polite society and in this case he's being extremely impolite and rude to you he's just demonstrating very rude behavior and so I think you need to take a, a stronger position with him. You need to say to him, either you're here with me or you're here with your phone. So if you want to go to dinner with your phone, then why? Then I don't need to be here. Because if you're not going to sit here and talk to me and you're not going to be present and you're going to be distracted by your emails or be distracted by text messages with other people then what's the what's the point of even having dinner together what kind of relationship is that um you his relationship is with his phone not with you and i think some people dismiss this as like people being too sensitive but i just look at it as being very very impolite very very rude behavior That's my that's my opinion about this situation. And so my advice to you would be to firmly, not gently bring it up, but firmly bring it up and say, look, when you use your phone at the table, when we're when we're having dinner together in a restaurant and you are focused only on your phone, it makes me feel ignored. It makes me feel hurt. it hurts my feelings. I mean, that's, that's the, that's what it does. It hurts my feelings. And if you continue this behavior, then I will no longer go to dinner with you. And if you continue this behavior, maybe I will no longer stay in this relationship with you because you, he has, he's not, showing any courtesy or any politeness um, to you. Now, there's sometimes where you get a message that's, you know, very important. And I can understand that, you know, look at the message. If you have to reply, apologize and say, this is a work email and it's really important and I need to reply to this. But if it's just surfing the internet, playing with his phone, That's no fun. I mean, what what kind of what kind of dinner is that? You know, where you're just sitting there by yourself while the other person is playing games or internet surfing or um texting with other people. He's not being present. He's not being emotionally available to you. And so I very much think that you need to have to you need to take a much stronger position with him and explain to him that you're hurting me, you're hurting my feelings. Okay. And if he still dismisses it and says, Oh, you're too sensitive, or whatever, I would strongly think about the character of the person that you're dating. Like, is this a person that you want to continue a relationship with? If they're that discourteous, if they're that rude or impolite, Do you really want to be with someone like that? Or do you want someone who actually pays attention to you, listens to you, um, wants to be, wants to spend time with you? Because that's not time. That's You might physically be in the same place, 
but emotionally, you might as well be in two different restaurants eating alone. So I think this is a big problem. I think this is a big problem. Um, and I think that if you just really are firm with him, maybe he'll get the message and maybe he will change his behavior. But if he refuses to change his behavior and dismisses you, then obviously he doesn't care enough about you to even put his phone away for a half an hour or 45 minutes or whatever it the amount of time it takes to have dinner together. I would say, then what? what's the point? You're not having fun. You're not enjoying this relationship. He has a closer, more intimate relationship with his phone than he does with you. Um, what do you. What's the priority here? I mean, it's just a stupid phone. Put it down. Put it on silence or, or vibrate. Put it in your pocket and look at the messages later when you're when you're not spending quality time together because this is not quality time you're not enjoying yourself and so i totally understand your position and agree with your uh feelings um i i i feel sorry for you but i think you need to take a much stronger more uh firmer position with him and say you know at the dinner table it's me or the phone you can't have both. You can't have both. All right. That's my, those are my two cents for today's episode of my Dear Jack episode. If you like this podcast, you can become an exclusive subscriber for $1.99 a month. You can still get three free episodes every week, but for $1.99, you get an additional two to three episodes per week. You can send me an email at a to z English podcast.com. You can uh, listen to the episodes on our website, a to z English podcast.com. Um, you can uh, join our WhatsApp group or our WeChat group, the a to z English podcast, by clicking the links in the description. And with that said, I will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye.